Eve and all, no respawn, so I've got a treat for you, more so than normal, um, which is a quite heavy RP build. Uh, so this one, so I mentioned in a video or two ago how I wanted to do, as you can see right here, using the custom vanilla assets and the billboards, which as you can see are in the decoration misc tab. You might have to enable a wee uh, billboard toggle button first, but they're in there. And I wanted to do quite, um, so I initially wanted to do a shack buried in them. So the idea being it was going to be this kind of fully enclosed shack, effectively stuck to the back of one of these billboards and kind of using the billboard as a supporting wall. Now I kind of do that, but instead I landed on the idea of actually making it kind of a lean-to kind of thing. So what I, w what I was thinking of was when I walked in Good Neighbor the one time and I was looking at, you know, outside um, the memory den, you've got those kind of like... The, the ones who live on the street, right? Like that kind of like quite, kind of like they're flaming barrels and they've got kind of the bits of the metal prefab in there. I kind of inspired vaguely by that. And I thought this would be a really, 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 and it is, because it turns out very cool, but a very cool, um, heavy RP survival playthrough build. Also, I keep picking up stuff that's buried in the ground. <laughs> Um, so what I ended up doing, it, look, it looks so good, I spent ages on the decoration as well. I've actually made the second one, but I haven't decorated yet, so I don't show you on the tour. Um, it's, it's gonna be vaguely the same, it's just on the other side. Um, like, opposite to this one, where, over there, you can actually see it already. Anywho, but yeah, this turned out really cool. Ah, oh, it's so good. Um, so for the, kind of the RP for this one is this is gonna be the... Kind of the little kind of shack for the guy who runs the generator. I always like to think the guy who runs the generator is some crotchety old guy. Um, possibly some like ancient ghoul who doesn't want to spend time with anyone. So I've made it quite personal as well. But the, the idea being that this would work really, really well. You know, built on, so I was thinking somewhere like County Crossing. Um, kind of just on the side of the road. So the idea being that this building was already there. And you just kind of built a shack. Or kind of little kind of area behind it. It's very cool. You'll like it. You'll like it. Like it. Also, it's a very quick build. I think this whole building time took me about 15, 20 minutes. Obviously, the decoration took me significantly longer because I was kind of decide how to do things, but it's quite a short one, this, which is grand. It's quite easy to do. As you can see, I just kind of rug glitch the things. Now, you see where you've got the walls there? Basically, they're a little bit off-center, but that's how they're designed to be. It's something I noticed during the decoration. You don't vaguely see it. So, basically, they're, snap they're perfectly level, as you can see, underneath. However, on the top, the the side, the, the bar closest to us on the top is like higher. You'll see what I mean, I'll point out. It just it basically looked a bit weird and I thought, if I just put those in wrong, then I realised it's because the thing slightly slopes. So maybe if you want, use a different, you know, kind of canopy thing. So what I end up doing is using... See, cause I wanted to keep this, like, again, it's like following that vibe I mentioned in my last video. How I want all my buildings to look open. So they're not really... And it's quite a nice... It's... It's an interesting design style that I'm running with with all of my buildings recently, which is really cool because it's made me kind of slightly approach them at a different... You may have noticed, I ho hope that's noticeable, that I've been kind of approaching them a little bit of an unconventional angle to kind of force this openness. And same with this one here, and it just, like, the whole thing is really simple, but when you see the decoration, it is fucking cool. It's really, really grand. Um, also, on a subject, you see we've used those little, uh, what do we call it, little supports in the ball and track thing if someone could maybe a mod dev maybe could perhaps maybe give us those where you have just the one instead of the two is that possible could you do that on ps4 and then dm me the link or tweet it over to me so i can retweet it to everyone and mention it in my next video that would be grand because i'm looking look, those things are great right but wouldn't it be awesome if we could have those just on their own because they're a, they're just a nicer texture they're a bit longer oh, no, i think the same height actually but they're a nicer texture than the um slightly more square pillar things that we've got. You know, if I've got the metal ones, or we've got those really, like in the workshop tab, or you've got those really fugly wooden ones, you know, from the barns tab that I just physically never touch anymore. But I do use something in the bars tab in this build, in fact, because I make a toilet. Mm. Make a little really shitty, very, very smelly looking, very, very uncomfortable bog. So there's that. So as you can see, I've kind of made this. This is literally just... Really, you'll see it in the tour even better, but this is really, just think of it as, um, I don't use this, don't worry, it looks bollocks, see, I just have, no, that was a terrible idea. But think of this as very, very low tech, as, you know, as, as best as they could kind of pull together from the immediate surroundings, 
Maybe it's not even a permanent shelter. Maybe it's only there for a kind of a short period. Like even the way I've tried to set up the, the kind of bedroom is very much mobile. They've got like some more permanent stuff there. I quite like the bed, by the way. It's a load of, spoiler, it's a load of the old, um, uh, the wooden pallets. Um, like four of them. So two and then one on, two on top. And they've got a bed on top. It looks really, really cool. Looks very cool. It's a good technique. Allow you to use that. Even use the straw pillow, didn't I? But I had to manually place that. So that that's kind of... That seems weird, right? Just wait for the decoration. You'll love it. But basically, that's kind of ostensibly the building, right? But it looks really, really cool. Trust me. You'll love it. You'll love it. Love it. It's very, very cool. Um, I, This is me just experimenting around, trying to find different ideas. Because I want to do, obviously, add a little bit of texture. Because, obviously, it's just kind of like the wall is just on its loans. I was lying. That isn't the only building. I've got this sheet of corrugated steel, which I unceremoniously bolt onto the side. This makes me want to start a survival playthrough. Look, I'll be honest, right? I'm going to probably do a survival playthrough at some point. I probably won't put it on the channel because I then have to record every single freaking episode or stream it. And I kind of mean like me just playing them alone some. But if I do, I'm really tempted to like build one of these or something similar-ish. Um, if I do that, by the way, I might record it. Yeah, so if I do like my own little kind of like characters, heavy RP in the middle of nowhere kind of shack thing. Because it's very cool, right? It, it's really, really neat. Um, and you'll see this, the, the detail in the structure as well. Like when I've, when I've got the decoration. We're also, we're nearly finished with the castle now. So I was going to... I still want to put... Well, I mean, I've still got to do all of the inside of the castle wall. So that's going to take me fucking ages. Um, yay. And I've still got to finish off the duplicate bits. So, like, I've got to finish off one of these. I've got to do the other three artillery pieces. Then we've also got two walls to cover I think so we've done one I've got two well, I've got three technically but some of them obviously have wall bits on them and stuff already so we can't really do very much so there's not much a few videos left on the castle I would think just as a just as a heads up don't worry the channel's not gonna be deleted afterwards I think some people have I think we've we all got this because I've stuck to this one style of build for the last month now um, I think it's about that time now. <laughs> We're all like, oh god, what are we going to do with our lives when it's finished? Build something else, basically. But this is quite fun. I've enjoyed this one. Right, wait for it. Wait, no. Oh, wait, no, this is my bogs. Oh, yeah, this is my bogs. I like this. This was directly ripped out of, um, to an extent, Good Neighbour. Because there's quite a few of these little just kind of like slapped onto the side. I don't think they're actually bogs, but it worked really well. So we just sunk that into the ground there. Into the ground, so you see all the dirt. And then we go, accidentally go out USO integrated, because I do that all the fucking time. Barns, into miss, outhouse, and the outhouse seat. And to put it there, like that. Um, I think this is the correct direction, I'm not sure. Let me know if that's facing the right way, I think it is. Right. <clears throat> now, that's from this of the view, so you can see you're walking up to it. I do need to fill that void a little bit between that and the generator, but that would just be kind of like chaff decoration. Wait for it, it's going to look really good. You like this? Oh, wait for it. Yeah, so I kind of like added. I wanted... Yeah, look at it. It looks really good, right? Also, the settler. Spoiler. Sorts down a sec. Oh, look at the roofs. You know what I mean? They're kind of like off-angled, but that's just because they're slightly sloped. They're actually level. But look at it, right? So I've got, you know, your duffel bag, your ham radio, kind of little bits and pieces they've picked up. As you can see right there, they've got their own little kind of like caps cache. Kind of a couple of... um. Uh, pit boy games and kind of like magazine stuff so this is kind of like very much a kind of temporary survival shelter that i just thought was really really sweet and i'm quite pleased at how it turned out very very rp very very kind of low level stuff anyway hope you guys like that as always follow me on twitter at no respawns i'll have a new video up soon i'm gonna finish with one of these as well oh that looks so good Ooh, so good anyway i'll talk to your lovely people soon you enjoy the rest of your week